way to the Etihad uh, on Saturday to play Manchester City in a game that I have absolutely no expectation going into or no real hope. Not in, in a negative way. I just don't think we'll win. But with Man City, for me, they're the best side in Europe. They're the best side in the Prem. Obviously, they're top of the league. Um, but they've won the last five games. They're the form side. They've probably got the best defence. They've got the best, second best attack in terms of goals scored. Um, obviously, their, their home record's brilliant. They've only lost one game at home all season. And I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, that was when they lost to Nuno's Tottenham, right, on the opening day. Um, they're conceding under a goal a game. They're scoring two goals a game. They've got the best goal dif- difference in the Premier League. There's just there's nothing obvious about them. Like I'll go on and speak about some of their numbers in a minute, but I was struggling to find um, anything negative about them. It's not like, and like with Liverpool last week, I, I thought we'd lose and I, I, we did better than I thought we would. But, you know, we were at home and there was a few little things. That I was like, maybe we could get at this, maybe we could get at that. With Man City, I've got, there's not really that much, which is, <laughs> the thing is, I know I know this This isn't what Bruno Large is going to pick, by the way. He'll go with Huang Ki Chan again. He'll go with Pedence and he'll go with Raul. Personally, I don't think we're going to win this game anyway. So I, I, I just want to see some bit fun. Um, I know he's not going to do this, but I'd like to see Daniel Pedence. I know Daniel Pence is going to play, obviously, because he's missed the last two games. He's the fittest. Well, who knows? Maybe Trinkau will come in or something. I don't know. But I'd like to see Pence play in that 10 role. Help Nevers and Matinho. And look, Fabio Silva's been, apparently, you know, that stuff's coming out coming out recently about him going out, maybe going out on loan in January, which is something I'd support. Um, but why not play him for a game? Why not play with a front two? We've never seen it. We've never seen Raul and Fabio play up top together. I don't think we're going to get much joy down the wings in this game anyway given how Man City play anyway. So why not just play two strikers and just press their centre-backs? Why not? Personally, and, and Marcel, the only reason I put Marcel there is because I assume Ray Nate will probably not be risked because he came off against Liverpool, so I assume... Plus, we're going to have to play Marcel. Like, when you look at those those Christmas fixtures, he will have to play at least one of these games. And for me, this is the game with... We're probably going to lose, so you might as well just rest Ray Nate and not risk him kind of, you know, like agitating an injury, right? So that'd be my... And obviously... The centre backs stay the same because we don't have any other centre backs. Um, in terms of Man City, in terms of like some stats stuff, the only I think I found two weaknesses in Man City. One of them is Edison. Actually, Edison's having like a really below par season in terms of shot stopping. Like obviously our boy Jose Sarr is the best shot stopper in the Premier League right now. It's literally facts. You know, post shot expected goals against is probably the best metric for shot stopping. And Jose Sarr's top above David De Gea and Edouard Mendy. Edison's actually twenty fourth in the Premier League right now. He's letting three more goals than. He should have expected to. So Edison's having a bit of a down year in front of goal, or, is it, or um, in terms of saving shots. So let's actually have some shots. We've got, you know, in terms of the Premier League this season, we've got the fourth lowest amount of shots. So Edison's probably not going to have to do much anyway. But let's just have some shots in. Why not? Why not? He's not. He's not in good form. So let's do it. Um, I'm really clutching at straws here, by the way. Um, in terms of Man City, um, obviously they were amazing on the ball. Um, we're going to have to press them, but it's not something that they don't face. You know, they have a lot, they get pressed all the time when they're on the ball. It's not really, a, it's not really, look, we're going to have to press them, obviously. But I wouldn't mind if we just sat off them like we did against Liverpool because they're used to it. They know how to beat a press. Every single player in that, that Man City side, even they're like bench players, are press resistant. So I wouldn't, it's not something that we need to do. Um, even like, there's there's this stat how, um, how, team, how big teams deal with like getting ran at. And it, this was the one thing that Liverpool were bad at. And I assume it's why Dama Traore played last week. But Man City aren't bad at it. They can defend one-on-ones in dribbles. So again, there's just... I'm trying to find stuff that like normally big sides are bad at. Um, a lot of the bad sides are down the bottom of that metric. Chelsea, Liverpool, West Ham. Man City aren't. There's just nothing they're really bad at. Um, the only thing they don't really do is press. You know, in the defensive third, so like when we're on the ball in kind of just this kind of range when Marcel and Cody and doing like their five-yard passes... They don't really press there, so we will. There will be times where, like against Liverpool, we couldn't really play out the backs. So they just pressed us. Man City will let us pass out a bit. They're not going to press us, even just pressures generally. They're bottom of the league. Successful press, pressures are a bit higher, and when they do press, they actually do it really well. Like if you look at it as a percentage, they're fourth. Or sorry, they're fifth. But Man City aren't going to press us. I guess that's a good thing. That's one positive. There's two positives. Edison's a bit out of form, and they're not going to press us. Um. Again, clutching at straws. Obviously, their possession is the highest in the league. That's fine. You know, Wolves can counter-attack at this point. There's no point in trying to boss them at their own game. Um, and even... One thing that surprised me is like, Man City are, are actually, like, good in the air. Like, they're better than us in the air in terms of, like, 
how many aerial win duels they win. Because I can't really think of ma many Man City players that are that tall, Bal, Rodri and, and Ruben Diaz. I guess Laporte, even John Stones and Nathan Ake aren't really, <coughs> aren't really that tall. But they're still good in the air. They're winning everything. So Edison's a bit out of form and they don't press. They're the only two weaknesses I can obviously see in like some of the metrics. They're really good at home. <coughs> they're in good form. They didn't really have to play like a really strong 11 in midweek. All their attackers are starting to come back into form. Honestly, I've got no hope. So why not just pick a fun 11, see what happens, and hopefully we won't get humiliated. <clears throat> like if we lose this, I just want to see a score actually, because it's been, what, three games now without a goal? That's a little bit concerning, especially given... I mean, to be fair, when you look at the Premier League table, we're still eighth, right? Uh, yeah. But that goal, that goal tally, the fact we've only got 12... Like Leicester are below us and they've got 23. Everton have got 19. Everton are awful. Like if you watched Everton, they're terrible and they've scored more goals than us. So let's just, you know, Wangi Chan's only got four. And like if you look at all the other clubs, Bath, Southampton, everyone has a goal scorer that's got more than us or two goal scorers with that number. So hopefully we've scored a goal. Hopefully we don't get humiliated against Man City. And who knows, maybe we'll pull out an Adama Traore brace at the Etihad. But um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and like the video there'll be a reaction after the game and loads of videos over december in the january transfer window so subscribe like the video and yeah peace